Maryland is a really special place for me. I've lived here all my life. I love this state, and it's the best place in the world. I grew up just a few blocks from where I live now, and my parents live right down the street. My father, Joe Curran, is the epitome of integrity. He's one of the longest serving public servants that we've had in our state. He was in the House of Delegates, he was in the State Senate, he served as Lieutenant Governor, and then as the longest serving Attorney General in the state of Maryland. My father was a pioneer in the fight for civil rights. As a kid, I think my parents instilled in all of us the notion that everyone needs to be treated equally, everyone deserves justice, and everyone deserves a chance, a fair chance. When Martin and I first got married, I was attending law school at night and working my days as a law clerk in the state's attorney's office. My last year of law school, I was pregnant with my daughter, Grace. I gave birth to her and then took the bar exam in July. I began my career in Baltimore County as an assistant state's attorney, and then I was appointed for the past 20 years to the District Court of Baltimore City as a judge. I think I had a reputation of being tough but fair. The people that were there in the courtroom expecting justice deserved that. I have the right experience to be Maryland's next Attorney General on day one because of the 30 years that I've spent every day in the courts working with people day in and day out. As Attorney General, I will work hard to protect Marylanders from violent crime and at the same time be a crusader for criminal justice reform. People need an Attorney General that's going to stand up for them, fight for them, and pursue justice for them every single day. And that's why I want to be Maryland's next Attorney General.